Since my family and I have about 48 days until we're in Disney, I decided to show you my travel binder. This is a binder that I purchased online. Um, the I will try and find the link that I used to purchase it from and put it in the down bar. But if I can't find it, then you can just Google Mickey Mouse binders. So this binder is a cartoon print and he's on the front and he's on the back. So throughout the binder you're gonna see random pink or blue sticky notes and that's just to block out any personal information. Um, so when you first open the binder, I made a cover page, and it just says Disney 2015, and it has a sticker, which is the castle. And everything is in sheet protectors. The next piece of paper that I have in here is the Magical Express confirmation paper. Me and my boyfriend will be flying, and as you can see, it says guest name, arriving flight information, and departing flight information. We don't have any information in because we booked this before we booked our flight, and we're not departing using a plane. We're going to hop in the car with my family because they're driving down. The first tab I have here is a travel tab. It has a week overview, a confirmation number, mine and my boyfriend's flight information, and directions for inside Disney. Because once you get in the Disney gates, GPS doesn't work. Um, I've decorated all the tabs, and each tab is labeled right here. So travel, hotel, park plans. I haven't figured out what to do with this one yet. And then miscellaneous. So in this first tab, we have overall week view. As you can see, we're staying seven days and six nights in Disney. I have Saturday through Sunday because we are going to be driving for two days. Um, the day that my family leaves is August 15th, and they're going to be departing at 7 a.m. And then the day we all leave Disney on August 22nd, we're going to be departing at 9, I assume. Because once we get there, we don't want to leave. We booked all of our fast passes, so I decided to go ahead and put in which parks we're going to on which days. And then Friday, we're not really have much planned, so I'm thinking it's a pool day. This is a page that I printed out online. I will put all the links below. Um, I found all of this on Pinterest. So this is Walt Disney World travel information. This is for my mom's confirmation. So it just has the de departure date for our trip and our trip home. And then it has which resort we're staying at, the phone numbers and reservation number and everything that we need. And in this top corner, I just put all the travelers' names. And then we have another one for my, for my grandparents and I, my boyfriend. And then this is for flight information. So I printed this out so that way I knew my flight information. Um, at the top, it just says the airline and the confirmation number. And then down here, it just says where we're going. And then these are sent automatically when you book with Mam the Magical Express. We're not going to use them because we're sending all of our stuff with the car ride. Um, these are the directions for Inside Disney. I found them on Pinterest, I believe, or are just online in general. So the second tab is the hotel tab. It has a daily checklist, a hotel map, and a bus map. So this is the hotel map. We're staying at Pop Century. And this is what it looks like. It just shows us what our hotel area is going to look like. And we can just know what it looks like when we get there. So that way we don't have to worry about it. And then on the back of this one, I put in the transportation map. Which also has the monorail, the bus, and everything else. I wanted to get a more closer version of the bus map. And then this is something that my mom and I will have to sit down and fill out a daily checklist of things we need to bring with us. It's probably not going to be full, but I after we fi figure it out, I'm going to laminate it, and then we can just use an expo marker to cross everything out. So the third tab is the parks. So this is every information consider like everything that we want to do in the parks, uh, our fast passes, things that we want to do that aren't fast passed, and everything. So the first page I have in here is the hours for the week right down there. They already post the hours. Then it starts with the week. So this starts Monday. We're going to Hollywood Studios. It has all of our fast passes, and then the next page has more things. So the things that we want to do, and then the things that we can do if there's time. 
And these are all pages on Pinterest. So Tuesday we're doing Magic Kingdom, all of our fast passes. And then the things that we should do and the things that we do if there's time. And then Animal Kingdom on Wednesday. But before we go to Animal Kingdom, we have a brunch at the Contemporary Resort. And then all of our fast passes at Animal Kingdom. Things to do, things to do of time. And then Thursday we're doing Epcot. All of our fast passes. Things that we should do, and then things that we do if there's time. So it's pretty straightforward. Then Friday we have nothing planned, so I just have this in here. Just to be sure that if we do plan anything, I can write it down for memories. This is more of a keepsake than anything. Um, this page I made myself. So this is all of the... Um, Characters that you can find in each park, so Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and then Hollywood Studios. So what I did is I put the name of the characters, which part of the world of the park they're in, and then where you can find them. So for example, Ariel is in Fantasyland at the Grotto. Um, Fairy Godmother is at Fantasyland behind the castle. Um, Tigger and Winnie the Pooh at Fantasyland be by the pool ride. So it's just Simple. And then tab number four, I don't have anything in yet. I don't know what I'm going to put. Maybe pictures, because this is going to be a keepsake. Number five is miscellaneous. So I decided to make these mousekeeping envelopes, and they're really adorable. I found these on Pinterest. I made them on cardstock. I cut them out myself, so when I printed them out, I printed out two on a page. So here's what they look like. And I made out of cardstock, and when you printed them out, they were this flat piece of paper, and there was two on a page. I had to cut the slits, I had to cut the hat and the ears, and then I had to cut these little things. So that way you can fold it all up with a dollar or two in it. So, we wanted to look up to make sure that we were going to pay the correct amount, and we've come to the conclusion that a lot of people pay, um, they do it each day, and it's a dollar per person staying in the hotel, and then plus a dollar. So my mom has five people staying in the room with her, so she'd do six dollars. We have four people in the room, so we would do five dollars. And then I have the emergency information. Um, it's all blocked out because it's all personal, but the top sticky notes are names of the travelers, and I put them in, o in order of oldest to youngest. And then the hometown is where, right under the sticky note. And then that's everything that's in this binder. It's not done completely yet because there's obviously a lot more that we could add. Um, but this is just what I wanted to start off with. And I just love the binder. So um, everything that I have in this binder will be in the link below. Give this video a thumbs up. We're going to Disney in 48 days. That's kind of exciting. Thanks for watching.